friends in this video we are going to see two ways of dividing a nucleus first direct chop of the nucleus let us start from capsulorexis you can see that this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis we can either go for direct chop or pre chop in such cases capsulorexis is done with the help of a uh, uterata forceps and now hydro dissection is being done with the help of a uh, 27 gauge cannula and BSS the nucleus is nicely mobilized now 2% ASPMC is injected into the anterior chamber the AC is filled up with this visco and now we are going to introduce the FECO probe that is the FECO needle exposed part of the FECO needle in such cases is not much in this case the exposed part is little more we can even decrease the exposed part of the FECO needle in such cases first I am removing some cortex with bevel down then turning the hand base to make the bevel up and now I bury the tip of the FECO needle just in front of the main incision into the substance of the nucleus hold it very firmly and chop turn it 90 degree and chop again thus one heminucleus is divided into two halves now I am emulsifying one piece then the second piece taking some time here yes I've got the second piece in front of the FECO needle it is emulsified and now I turn go to the other heminucleus divide it into two pieces and emulsify and now we have a carpet of epinucleus just have to tumble this epinucleal nuclear sheet and emulsify this so this is one way of managing the nucleus with the FECO needle itself and now let us see pre-chop pre-chop with the help of a pre-chopper this is rexis we're starting from rexis this is a uterata forceps and this is a very quick way of doing our excess and then hydro dissection 27 gauss cannula and BSS is used to do hydro dissection the microscope being used is OMS 800 of Topcon and the recording camera is Sony alpha 7 s2 and now I'm going to divide this nucleus by a pre chopper this is the pre chopper in the right hand sustainer in the left the two instruments come to each other and it is pre chopped turn it 190 degree and pre chop on heminucleus and now inject some more visco and then introduce the tip of the FECO needle the FECO needle goes in with its bevel down here it goes some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and the pre chopped nuclear pieces are emulsified very easily come to the other heminucleus divide it into two pieces by the FECO probe itself and emulsify this so this is a another beautiful way of dividing the nucleus and manage the nucleus both the ways are good but if we learn both the ways we become more confident in surgeries 
thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills